So we come to the front. At the top, our antenna is intact. Not cracked, broken, or missing. Cluster lights, eight ways, red and amber, are hazards slash turn signals. Headlights are all intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Okay. School bus plus the number are eligible, <clears throat> not pulling or missing. Front window is intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Rubber seal around your front window is intact, not dry rotted, pulling or missing. Your hood, this is the only part where you would have, you got to come and touch it. So your hood is secure, okay? Your grill is intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Radiator is free of debris, no leaks. Reflective tape is intact, not peeling or missing. Your bumper is parallel with the ground, not cracked, broken, or missing. Tow hooks are intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Heater block plug, you will lift this up. Check the inside, make sure it's free of debris. It's intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Crossover arm moves freely. Your plate is intact and should match your back plate. Okay. Now, we're gonna go under the hood. Under the hood, you always start on the passenger side. Alternator is intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Serpentine belt slash belt is intact, not frayed, peeling, missing, no more than three fourths play. The back where this is attaches, that is your water pump. So it's gonna be back in there. Is your water pump? It's intact. Not cracked, broken, or missing, or leaking coolant. Okay. Then go over to the driver's side. I think my kids found it. What? That was him, right? Well, I'm not sure. It sounds like brake fluid. This is where you add your brake fluid, your brake hose. It's not frayed or leaking brake fluid. This is where you check your transmission fluid. This is where you check your oil. This is your power steering. This is where you add it. This is your power steering hoses. You want to make sure they're not frayed or leaking power steering fluid. This is your coolant reservoir. Coolant, you should be able to see in both lines. If it's in the lower one, you want to add it. Never Open this cap when it's hot. This is where you add it in. Your coolant lines are intact, not frayed or leaking coolant. Okay. Next, you have your steering. So you got your steering wheel, steering column, which is on the inside, steering arm, steering gearbox, pitman arm, drag link. Steer knuckle, castle nuts, carter pins, tie rod. They're all intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. And your steering gearbox is not leaking power steering fluid. Okay? So next, you have your suspension. You have your hanger. It's intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Leaf springs are intact. Not cracked, broken, or missing, or shifted. Your two U-boats are intact. Not cracked, broken, or missing. Your shackle is intact. Not cracked, broken, or missing. Hydraulic shock absorber is intact. Not cracked, broken, or missing, or leaking hydraulic fluid. Okay. Brake line is intact. It's not afraid of leaking brake fluid, free of debris. Brake line is attached to your caliber. 
inside your caliber you have two pads they should be no less than one fourth thickness in between your pads you have a rotor three things they should be smooth no grooves no excess rust okay. next we got your tire so you should have even wear the front tire cannot be recapped or regrooved no less than 430 second tread depth. You check that with a tread depth checker. Okay. Your sidewall, no cuts, bubbles, or abrasions. Tire pressure is 105. You check that with a tire pressure gauge. Your tire is secured to the rim. Your rim cannot be welded, no cracks or dents. One valve stem straight and capped. Lug nuts are all intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. You're checking the tread for shininess. So they can indicate that the lug nuts been cross-threaded. You're checking behind the lug nut for excess rust because that can indicate that the lug nut may be loose. This is your hub. All your bolts are intact, not cracked, broken, or missing. Your hub is intact, not cracked crack broken or missing, hub seal is in place and no excess leaking. Mud flap is intact, crack broken or missing. So if you had the front of the bus, this is everything you had to do and you're done. And now you're on the skills.